KVGC News Time, seven minutes after the hour. Good morning, everyone. Time for a look at the news for a Tuesday, the 26th day of February for 2019. Amador County Board of Supervisors will be meeting this morning. KVGC will be there to stream the meeting live for you to watch. Well, in the news today, facing criticism from the public, the Jackson City Council has backed down from a proposed ordinance that would have made property owners equally liable for accidents on sidewalks in front of their properties within the city. At their meeting two weeks ago, the council approved a first reading of an ordinance that would have property owners sharing responsibility when poorly maintained sidewalks resulted in accidents. The proposed change came at the suggestion of the city's insurance company following a claim against the city last year. The proposal has met much criticism both before and during last night's meeting. Several Jackson residents during public comment last night complained about being made responsible for sidewalks that they don't own, control access to, or can alter without the city's permission. The council voted down the second reading of the ordinance on a unanimous vote. In other business, the council approved a package of changes to the city's zoning and development code. This will introduce new rules for short-term rentals, second units on residential lots, political signs, and several other subjects. The council also approved road repairs paid for by the increase in gas tax. Jackson will spend a total of $320,000 on road repair, including $80,000 $80,000 from the gas tax on new paving for Hoffman, Summit, and reinforcement on Matley Street. Well, Amador and Calaveras County officials alerting residents several days of significant precipitation will bring with it the potential for flooding as well as wind gusts and snows in higher elevations. Now, since rainfall on snow could lead to snow melt, residents should remain vigilant when traveling and avoid flooded areas. Both Amador and Calaveras County Office of Emergency Services remind residents sandbags are available at various locations in Calaveras County, Arnold Maintenance Yard, Copperopolis Fire Department, Glencoe Maintenance Yard, Jenny Lynn Maintenance Yard, Valley Springs Sport and Fitness, Mountain Ranch Community Center Parking Lot, Murphy's Fire Station, San Andreas Maintenance Yard, Vista Del Lago Cul-de-Sac, near Valley Springs Dental, West Point Fire. Please limit the number of sandbags to 10 per resident. And remember to bring your shovel. Contact Public Works in Calaveras County at 754-6401 with any questions. And the Amador County Sheriff's Office of Emergency Services reminds residents of Amador County sandbags. The counties will provide bag, or excuse me, the county will provide bags and sand to Amador residents with a suggested 20 bag limit on a self-serve basis. A pile of sand and bags located in the airport parking lot near the County General Service Administration building on Sutter Hill. Be sure to bring a shovel to fill the bags. For more info, contact Sergeant John Silva, 223-6384. And in addition to the county program, the cities of Ione, Jackson, and Sutter Creek are offering a similar program to residents. Contact City Hall's for more information. And the El Dorado National Forest will soon be submitting applications for off-highway vehicle funds for the upcoming grant cycle. The forest is developing uh, primary application forms that will include a strong emphasis on trail maintenance and repair, law enforcement across the four ranger districts, printing and distribution of motor vehicle use maps, and education. Your ideas are very important for developing these proposals, so the forest will be hosting an open house tomorrow evening from 4 to 7 p.m. to discuss the proposed preliminary grant applications. This open house will be held at the El Dorado National Forest Supervisor's Office in Placerville. Now, in the past, the Forest Service have used these grants to address trail repair and cleanup of downed trees on over 300 miles of off-highway vehicle routes and for law enforcement patrol on an additional 900 miles of native surface roads on the forest. They've also used monies in the past for planning development and restoration activities. Now, once this uh, grant uh, 
preliminary grant is completed, the application will be available for review and comment by the public later in March. Well, over the past two weeks, the average price of a gallon of regular unleaded gas has increased by 10 cents. Industry analyst Trilby Lundberg says the jump follows a rise in crude oil costs. However, the price is still 15 cents below this time a year ago. The national average is 2.44 a gallon, but much higher here in California at 3.27 per gallon. Now, the KVGC gas survey shows regular unleaded selling in Amador County between 2.89 and 3.55 a gallon, in Calaveras County between 2.87 and 2.99. The lowest average price in the nation, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, two dollars and three cents a gallon. And a quick reminder for you that the Calaveras County Planning Department will be hosting a, a workshop again tonight. This is geared towards improving housing opportunities within the county's uh, general plan update. Tonight's meeting will be held at 6 o'clock, Mountain Ranch Community Center. Now, the idea of the meeting tonight is to gather information from people working on housing issues or that have concerns about housing needs in their communities so they can be incorporated into the Calaveras County general plan and that's a look at local news on this gold country tuesday morning again the amador county board of supervisors meets today at nine o'clock you can uh, watch the meeting live streamed on kvgc's facebook page from the kvgc news center i'm jd and i'm jim geedy reporting remember for the latest news traffic and weather 24 hours a day be sure to visit our website that's kvgcradio.com